Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my very first ever Xbox Series X stream. You know how they say better late than never. Eight months after the release of the console, a very generous fan sent me one, knowing full well that in the next few months there's going to be some exclusive games as well as games that are going to be under Game Pass that I absolutely want to play. And they sent me this console out of the blue, and I'm so appreciative. Because it's so hard to still get this console, and I wouldn't have been able to even afford it, even if I could I get one. I can't afford it right now. So this is going to help tremendously. I'm going to be able to continue playthroughs I was playing previously on this console with, with improvements. We're going to be able to play games under Game Pass that normally I probably would have had to skip because I couldn't afford them. There's exclusives coming out on this. It's going to be amazing, all right? So, today is the very first day, all right, where I am checking out this Xbox Series X. What are we doing today? Well, the point of today's stream is as follows. To join Game Pass Ultimate, which I'm going to do momentarily, okay? Once I join, what I kind of want to do is see what games are actually available under Game Pass Ultimate that we're interested in, get them downloading right away because we know it's going to take a while to download some of these games. While those are downloading, what I would like to do is check out some games that I've already previously downloaded on here, like Forza Horizon 4, which apparently has been upgraded to run incredibly well on the series x i also want to give a look at yes if you can believe it player unknowns battlegrounds a game that many years ago was it over three years ago now was the first game to introduce me to battle royale i'm curious how it runs on the series x if it runs any better or not it'd be pretty funny to check that out and then of course checking out uh all the things from game pass that we're going to get today so it's going to be a very fun kind of experimental stream where we see how things turn out. You know, I first day I'm going to be using this controller. This is the new improved Xbox controller with the new D-pad and everything. This will be interesting to see how this turns out. Surround sound, which I don't get on my PS5 because actually, uh, in all of their wisdom, Xbox says, gee, why not have dual audio out on our console that people are paying top dollar for? Instead of removing the feature, let's keep the features in from last gen. G like genius level move, right? Like Sony couldn't figure that one out. So... We're going to do it. First of all, we're going to join Game Pass. Now, I don't know if it's going to reveal any personal information for me to do this. So, just for the sake of protection, I am going to hide the video feed temporarily while I jump into the Game Pass screen. Um, and see how this does. It basically says join Ultimate for a dollar. Enjoy member perks like 30 days of Disney+. Plus. What if I click on that? I don't know if it's going to work or not because I've been part of Game Pass Ultimate before. Uh... Let's see here. No, it says it's $15 a month, and it doesn't really say anything about... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I just gotta do the standard the standard plan. Um, Because here's the thing. Here's what I was told. And by the way, I can show you this. There's nothing personal here. I can show you this. So here's how it goes. If you're already a subscriber to Xbox Live Gold, Okay, you can basically upgrade your Live Gold membership to a Game Pass membership for a discounted rate, but that's only if you're already a member of Xbox Live Gold from a previous plan. I'm not. Okay, I'm not on Xbox Live Gold right now because there's no gold, nothing. I'm playing multiplayer on my Xbox consoles. Okay, um, apparently there's a, an offer if you've never been a member of Xbox Game Pass before, one dollar gets you a month to try it out, and then after that's fifteen dollars a month. Well, guess what? A couple years ago, actually, I want to say it was like 2019, a fan of mine sent me some Game Pass trial memberships to try out, and I used them in order to get one or two games, and then they expired, but then the fucking thing auto-renewed, which I didn't know happened. It never even said that when you were using the promo code that it would sign you up for auto-renewal. I never approved it, yet the fucking thing took my money for several months. I didn't even realize this. It was behind the scenes. I had no clue that this was happening, okay? So finally... After, like, three months of getting billed for this thing behind the scenes and not knowing it, I said, oh, shit, and I canceled it. So, technically, I already had a Game Pass membership, and therefore, they're not going to give me their discounted rates or anything. All right? Um, so, I don't have... I'm not going to upfront buy a year or anything. I think I'm just going to go for the month-to-month -month for now and see if I like it. If this ends up being a good value for me and I have enough money saved up at some point, maybe I'll buy, like, the whole year to discount it. But for now, I just want to drop the 15 bucks to, in order to... Uh, to get all the games today okay so let's do that okay let's uh here we go 
Romy wrote to me at $1.30 says, a heads up, I suggest looking at Game Pass games through the My Games and Apps library, not an actual Game Pass app. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll get to that. Let's get to that. Let me join here. We'll get to that in a second. All right. And we'll figure out exactly how to browse these Game Pass games. So let me join now. And I'm hiding all my info. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, see, this is wrong. It didn't even have my current information actually in here. So I have to put in the new information. There we go. Has outdated info, because I haven't built anything on here in a million years. Uh, fuck. There it is. Wow, this D-pad is great. I can move this thing at lightning speed. I really like this D-pad. It's very responsive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. What is it? <laughs> okay. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. Okay. Shitty, Smitty Smith says, just play the most obscure shit possible on Game Pass. It'll be the best stream ever. <laughs> Again, there's no risk. Game Pass is win-win. How can you say Game Pass is not worth it? $15 a month, get insane amount of games, even if they suck shit. You didn't pay any extra money for it, right? Who cares if it sucks ass? Guts the Black Swordsman. My initial impressions of the console are good, but we haven't done anything with it yet, so let's actually do something with it here. Okay, I think it worked. It says, Welcome to Game Pass. Yep, so here we go. I'm officially part of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Alright, so I think this is the Game Pass uh, screen. Right? That shows all the things that are under Game Pass. But... I'm not sure what the best way to view Game Pass would be. Like, what's the best... Uh... What is the best way to view stuff? Like, personally, what I really want to look at first... Games that have been... Upgraded for the Xbox Series X. That's personally what I would like to see first. What games are optimized for this console that if I were to play them... I might be like, whoa, that looks cool. It's really well performing. Now, I don't know how to look at that. People are going to catalog... Go to show all. Oh my god, how do I do this? Uh, show all. Okay. Game Pass. Okay. Well, I can see... You can see when it has this icon on it. See, it's the X and S icon. That means that it's, it's you know... A series S, X, uh... What do you call it? Oh, there's an easier way? Hold on. Go down to Categories. Okay. There's a Categories tab down here, apparently. Oh my god, there's a lot of categories. Is this it? Is it Games with FPS Boost? Maybe. Bethesda Exclusive Games. Turn-based. This is pretty good. Oh, here we go. Shooter, platformer, family and kids fighting. Nah, it doesn't really it doesn't really sort it out though. I passed it. I skipped it? What did I miss? What? Turn based classics, mystery. Is it games with FPS boost? Show all games, survival, Metroidvania games, science fiction, fan what am I missing? Horror. Oh, here it is! Optimized for Xbox Series S, and I completely missed it. You guys are absolutely right. So this is an interesting... I'm going to go through this whole menu and see what's here. So all these games do run on other consoles, but have been optimized for this console. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. An anonymous tipper says, Game Pass includes EA Play now. You get access to that library of games, all told, including EA Play. There's 377 games currently available on Game Pass. That's a lot of fucking games, and, and growing, right? Every, every day, new games are added on here, right? All right, so right off the bat, let's take a look. Plague Tale, I, I really like that. I'm not going to replay it. Call the Sea. I heard this game is great. <clears throat> add to play later, because I'm not going to necessarily download every game right away, but add to play later. Yeah. 
I heard this game was great. It's a mystery game. Um, cross code. Don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, I want to play Dungeons & Dragons Dark Alliance. I've heard so many good things about that one. <laughs> uh, Dead by Daylight. I, I, I already own it, and now I could re-download it. Eh. Doom Eternal, I didn't really like. For Honor, I probably am not going to be playing For Honor again, to be just to be honest. Gears 5, I mean, the only thing I might try in Gears 5, they have an expansion that came out for it. And I think that the expansion is uh, included under Game Pass. But I don't know if I would want to check that out or not. Dirt 5, someone's just tried Dirt 5, really? You think so? Oh, you know what? At, least, at the very least, I'll add it to Play Later. I don't know if I'm going to download it right away. But it's free. I never played a Dirt game before, right? <clears throat> I don't know, Greedfall... Greedfall is a game that, like, I heard about, and I heard that some people really like it, and other people think it's not as good. So I don't know if I would want to get that one or not. I'm definitely going to try. I want to try Grounded. That's still in game preview. They never finished it. But I want to try it out and see what that's about. In fact, you know what? That one I'll install right off the bat, because that's one I actually want to try today. Um, Halo Master Chief. You know what? I want to, I want to try Halo Master Chief Collection. Damn, it's huge! 151 gigs? The, the console only has like 700 gigs of storage. Fuck. 151? That's... Because I was going to say, oh, I would like to see how it looks on Xbox Series X. 151 fucking gigs. Oh. <laughs> it's so... It's so big. I don't even know if I want to use that hard drive space. <laughs> it's worth it. Alright, you know what? <laughs> if, I, if it takes up too much space, I'll delete it. Um... This is the one everyone's talking about. This game just came out last month, right? Knockout City? I'm pretty sure this just came out. It's a dodgeball game. Where you run around, you smack people with a dodgeball. You gotta fucking install it. Why not? <clears throat> Why not? Man Eater? Now, Man Eater already was free on PS Plus, but I didn't get to play it. I'll, I'll put it on and I had to play it later. I probably won't do that today. Minecraft Dungeons was one that I was gonna play last year. I never did, but now it's free on here. Maybe I'll just give it a shot just to see what it is. More. Oh, oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. No Man's Sky. <laughs> oh, I've already played Dead by Daylight Pistol. We I know exactly what the game is. Timbo Slice did a super chat. Hold on. Timbo Slice did a super chat. And he said the following No Man's Buy. <laughs> Timbo Slice says, FPS boosters where older games are. Okay, we'll do that too. We'll, we'll look over there. Let's do this first, and then we'll look over there. Um, You know what? I'm curious about Outriders. I am absolutely curious about Outriders. This is a game that a lot of people played and said that, oh, it's like a great looter shooter, and you're missing out if you don't play it, but I don't care about looter shooters. But I'm, I'll try it. It's under here. Why fucking not? Dude, Star Wars Squadrons? I didn't play that. <clears throat> yeah. I'll try that. Fuck it. Install. This is probably going to be my whole hard drive now. Star Wars Squadrons. Okay. Oh, definitely the medium. I want to play the medium today if I can. So I'm installing that. Okay. <laughs> Tetris Effect Connected. Is this an, an online version of Tetris Connect? Super... Oh, they have a Super Hot. Remember that? They actually have a new version of it. Super Hot Mind Control Delete. <clears throat> Grounded's already ready to go. Cool. Um, Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe. Oh, you know what? People have told me about Vermintide. <clears throat> they, basically, I guess what this game is, is it's supposed to be, like, Left 4 Dead, but it's, like, medieval with orcs and shit, right? I'm, I'm gonna add that on there to play later. I don't want to play that today, but I'll add that on to play later. Okay. Alright, so that, there's not, honestly, there's not too much. Alright, there's not too much, but at the same time, at least there's a good amount of stuff. Get this stuff downloading. Let me see what is available. Excuse me for that. For uh, for uh, for uh, didn't it say enhanced. Like frame rate enhanced. Ah, games with FPS boost. So these games aren't necessarily going to run insanely better, but these games will have a, a booster. Oh, dude, really? Battlefield Four. And apparently, a lot of people are playing this now, right? Install that shit. Don't even play later. Install that shit. Battlefield 4. Alright. 
I loved on PlayStation 4. As a launch title for PlayStation 4, it blew me away how good it was. I loved the fucking game. I'm playing it. I'm fucking playing it. Okay. Calm down now. Uh, Wasteland 3, that's one that I didn't play. Dragon's Inquisition, outstanding game. I wonder how much better it is with the frame rate boost. Halo Wars 2, Halo... What the fuck is Halo Spartan Assault? I don't know what that is. Oh, Hollow Knight's on here, too. I have it on PS4, but now I have it on Xbox Series X. <laughs> don't Starve's on here. Uh, all the Yakuza games are on here, right? Like, I heard every Yakuza game's on here now. If I ever want to go back... You know what I could do? I could play Kiwami 1 and 2. I could play 3, which I never played, right? I have them all now under here. Right? Uh, Super Lucky's Tale. I skipped New Super Lucky's Tale. Oh, look. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare is the good one. Battle for Naval Reveal is not very good. Garden Warfare 1 and 2 were really good. I'm sad that Battle for Naval Reveal wasn't very good. Oh, wow, that Power Rangers fighting game is on here. Which I never played. I right, would give that one a look. Just for the hell of it to fuck around, right? Doesn't have to be serious to fuck around with it. I'll add that one to, to play later. How about that? It's a good idea. Battle Look 9000 to me two dollars. Says have a look at Desperation Three. It's it's not anything that'll show off power of Xbox, but you might like it. Oh yeah, what is it about? Tell me about it. Tell me about Desperation. I want to know what it is. <clears throat> I'm interested. Okay, let's keep looking here. Recore. Remember this one? See. All right. I'm gonna say something now. I liked ReCore. I was actually enjoying playing this game. This was an Xbox One exclusive many years ago. I actually liked it. I was really enjoying it. And people on my stream... Again, this was before I was an interactive streamer, right? I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was before I became an interactive streamer. People were just like, this game sucks. This game is boring. This game blows. Stop playing it. Play anything else. Because I wasn't being interactive. I wasn't... You know what I mean? I wasn't doing interactive streams so there was nothing to keep people in entertained i liked it people are saying it sucks sea of solitude isn't that another one a good one i'm gonna add that to play later i'm pretty sure it's a pretty good one sniper elites on here battlefront only battlefront one not two now that's weird why would they have one but not two it's ea you would think that they have both oh you know what maybe two is on here but it's not fps uh Maybe it's not FPS enhanced. That might be what it is. Yeah. Uh, Play Cool. 18, just give me a dollar thirty. says, Cross Code. You'll dig it. Lots of great retro vibes. Could be a game for late summer or something. Happy you're able to get the X. Very much deserved after all the tough years. Cheers, man. I love you. Thank you, Play Cool, for the tip. You guys are coming up. See, I mean, all these suggestions is awesome. I knew this was what was going to happen. Game Pass is... Game Pass is, if, if Microsoft sticks with it the way that they're doing right now, it's the future of console gaming. It's like, why would you buy these games individually, right? Why? When you can just fucking get this subscription and play an insane amount of games. Um, Skyrim. You guys have said, will Phil, will you play Skyrim again? Yes, I will play it once we get more information on the next Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls uh, 6. So, not yet. But I can play it on here with enf enhanced FPS. Okay. Two Point Hospital. I've been waiting for this, man. Finally, Two Point Hospital. I'm just kidding. I don't know what that is. Battlefield 5, which I never played. And apparently no one else did either. So I'm probably not going to play it. Uh, Beholder? I don't know what that is. Here's where 4 is on here. Golf with your friends. Well, everyone knows I don't have any friends, so I can't. Oh, no. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I look at this game and I'm like, oh man, I'm so, I'll be honest with you guys, I still haven't gotten over this game, because Mirror's Edge came out in 2009, or 2008, that was the year when I started making videos for YouTube, and I thought it was one of the most unique games I'd ever played in my life, I was like, what a unique concept, unique visuals, gameplay, like everything in that game kind of blew me away, and then when they announced there was finally going to be a sequel, many, many years later, it was 2016, yeah, it was 2016, Oh, there's going to be a sequel to Mirror's Edge. I mean, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. That game fucking sucked. That game was so bad. They took a game that was unique and made it so generic by having it be open world with fetch quests and boring ass shit. It, it was so bad. I was so disappointed in that game. Uh, how bad it was. 
Oh, man. Anyway. um, So, look, Battlefront 2 is on here, by the way. If I wanted to play it, which I don't. Um, Alright, so this is the enhanced FPS, right? So, I've pretty much either queued up for download or marked for playing later the things that I'm kind of interested in. Now, I'm just curious, can I go to, like, all or... Hmm. Leaving soon? All these do is sports games? Oh, CrossCode is leaving soon, huh? Now, okay. Now, here's an interesting question. Now, maybe you guys would know this. I don't, okay? Well, let's say, for example, I'm interested in CrossCode, okay? Could I, could I get it now, and do I keep it forever? Or when this leaves Game Pass, does that mean it's done and I can't play it anymore? Do I have to download it to my console and keep it on the console forever? If I, if I mark it, I want to play it later, but I don't download it now, am I fucked and I can't ever play it? Like, how does it work? Does anyone know how this works? Nuno Gloop just did a super chat saying, have I, have I considered creating a DSP action figure? Yes. I have, but I haven't found a way to rep uh, represent the incredible amount of flatulence in figure form yet. That would be realistic, so I'm not going to make one until I figure that out. I tried putting rotten eggs in it and everything. It just, just doesn't doesn't it doesn't really do justice. So okay, um, <clears throat> so let's see. If you don't buy it, you won't keep it, even if you download it. When it leaves, it's gone, but you can buy it for discount now if you want to keep it. That's bullshit. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah, people are saying even if you download it, you get restricted from playing it when it's removed from Game Pass. So here's the truth. People were saying, oh, cross-code, I'm not going to get it. There's no point. I'm not going to play it right now, and I'm not going to buy it later. So that's bullshit. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna waste my time with it. That kind of sucks. It kind of looks like Mega Man. That sucks. Uh, Jason Shell? Let's see here. Basically, he's insulting me in this tip. A complete insult. He actually thinks I would read that on my stream because he's a moron. I'm not going to read your insulting tip. You're stupid. Romy wrote to me $1.30 and says, if you go to your My Games and Apps on the and Game Pass tab, you can view every game in Game Pass. I'm going to have to do that. <clears throat> oh my god, Master Chief Collection finished. That's cool. Alright. <clears throat> uh, Alright. So, how do I do that? He said, if you go to your My Games and Apps and the Game Pass tab. Okay. So, My Games and Apps... Uh, what Game Pass tab? Uh, Game Pass. It just took me right back here. <laughs> uh, there's no Game Pass tab on my games and apps. Yeah. Yeah, what are you talking about? Full library? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll check that out in a second. Um, Hold on, I screwed up. What I wanted to do was look at my downloads. It was showing them. Where did it go? It was showing my downloads. Now they're gone. Oh, here it is. So here's what I've got queued up. But dude, look how long it's going to take for fucking Master Chief Collection. That's why I didn't want to do that now. Alright, you know what? Can I pause this? How do I pause the download? I wanted to pause the download so I could move on to another game. But it's not. It's going to keep downloading this fucking game for like four hours. Because <laughs> I want to install other games. I don't want to just wait for fucking Halo 151 fucking gigs to install. I want to try some of these other games. But I'm stuck now. Go to the manage queue. What the fuck is that? Manage queue. Okay. And then go to Q. Aha! Uh -huh. No! <laughs> I didn't want to start the game. I wanted to pause the download. <laughs> pause installation. I figured it out. There it is. Now quit the game. Nice. <laughs> I did it the most complicated way possible, but I did it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Cool. Alright, good. Yeah. See, I want to try other games. I'll try Knockout City. 
Outriders. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to install all these games. Alright, so in the meantime, while it's, it's downloading these games, first of all, I do want to see everything under Game Pass. So that was what? Well, under... Fuck. I was just here. It was full library included with Game Pass, right? We got these in my Play Later queue. <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly go through here um, and take a look at this stuff. Oh, some of these are not available yet. Look at this. The Ascent. Isn't this a new game coming out? It's not out yet. Take a look at it. Yeah. Pre-install. Coming July 28th. Hmm. I wonder what it is because I can't remember what this game is. I don't want to watch the trailer and get copyright strikes. <sighs> I wonder if it's any good. The Ascent. They showed it on one of those uh, preview things, right? Oh, excuse me. Um, Play Cool did another tip. He says, I don't think Game Pass can become the future like it is. Like you saw, a good chunk of games there are temporary. If you want to own something and play it whenever, Game Pass won't do it. At the same time, some people play one game for months on end. Yeah, so here's the thing, and I agree with you. Here, This is going to be a shortcoming of Game Pass. If you have all these games under it, and then the games keep getting removed, that's not good. Like, if you have a game on there and it's there for a couple years, okay, I played it for a couple years, I'm probably not going to want to go back and play it again. Maybe if I do, I'll rebuy it years later. But if you get a game on there for like two months, it's gone. That's not good. What if someone's halfway through their playthrough of a game and it fucking gets removed, right? Like, that's not good at all. So I'm curious. I'm curious how that's going to work. The Ascent is an action RPG shooter, kind of like Diablo with guns. Eh. I don't know if I'm going to want that. But again, again, there's no risk. You try it, you're like, okay, I see what it is, great. What I might be doing, and this is this very truthful now, since I'm going to be a Game Pass subscriber, okay, why not try every fucking new game for it? Do a stream of every effing new game that comes out on Game Pass, right? Every one. And if I like it, amazing. Keep it and play it, right? If not... Who cares? You didn't you didn't spend anything, right? Like I don't see a reason to not do that. Every time a new game comes in, just fucking pre-install it, play it. If I don't like it, I don't like it, right? But that would be cool because these are experimental streams now. This will be guys. Guess what? The Ascent came out today. I don't know much about it. We're gonna do a stream of it and try it out and see if it's any good, right? Why not? There's zero risk. So fuck it. <laughs> Same thing here. Back for Blood? Hell yeah. You know I'm putting Back for Blood. Alright, we're going to go through this list. But, some contributions have just come in. We've got a $50 tip from Gary BKK. Welcome to the stream, Gary. Thank you so much for the support, as usual. That's going to jump us up huge here. Right up to $85 a tip, so which means it's Gunner Glasses time. So I'll get those on for you. Very nice. <clears throat> Here we go. My rules is with PS Plus, you keep games as long as you're a member and you can re-download at any time. I am aware of that. That once a game becomes free on PS Plus, it's basically free forever. I'm curious, is Games with Gold the same way? That if you're an Xbox Live Gold subscriber, you can get it, you know, endlessly? I don't know. You would think that they're very similar. You would think they wouldn't have one that's much better than the other, right? Okay. I think this is all right. Yes, good. Uh, Timbo Slice also did a super chat. Let me get him up on the leaderboard as the latest super chat, and then we'll read it. Thank you, Timbo. <clears throat> and he says the following. Let's see. He says, Herpty Dirty Derp Rob Schneider is a carrot. Why would you say that, Timbo? That's a very old reference. No. He actually said... They give 30 days notice if a game is going to be leaving Game Pass so you'll know ahead of time. I mean, that's good, but <laughs> can you imagine having to fucking rush to... F oh, God, I have to finish the game! Because it's going to be gone in a month, now i got to play this non-stop. <laughs> so I, there's definitely some drawbacks to it. It's not flawless, right? It's not flawless, but at the same time, uh, there's still a lot of value here. Uh, Snow Carl took me a dollar, but he said, It's not zero risk. If you play a bad game, the stream suffers. You shouldn't play games just because they're free. You weren't playing a bunch of games that you already owned because you, you were the fans didn't enjoy. But see, you're not understanding, Snow Carl. You're completely misunderstanding me. What I'm saying is, because you're a Game Pass sub, there's zero risk to trying a game. 
trying a game. I'm not saying, oh, The Ascent's coming out. I'm committing to playing it because it's free. No, 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 no. I'm saying, oh, The Ascent's coming out one night for a two-hour stream. Play it for two hours, see what it is. If I like it, okay, maybe in the future I'll come back to it and play it as a playthrough. But not confirming that, not saying I absolutely have to play a full playthrough now, I don't see the, the risk of just doing a random stream, um, like as a night stream, to check out a game that's being available on Game Pass. You see what I'm saying? I don't think there's any risk there at all. So, um, Ty Holmes just hit me $15, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to push us to the vest goal for the day. We're at 101 so far. Let's get a vest poll going. Thank you guys so far for the support. We literally just started, and already... Great support. I appreciate that. Okay. So, which vest? We got the beige, the red, the blue, and the gray. These are the ones that we have not worn recently. Recently, I've worn camo, denim, and platinum. So, these are the four for today. Uh, skin this is a skinless dong? What? I'm not even going to say what this guy said. It's absolutely disgusting. Fireball Axe tipped me a dollar thirty. Said Rob Schneider is a stapler. Rated PG thirteen. <laughs> People still remember the South Park references. Very nice. Uh, so we're up to one hundred and five and growing, and growing and growing and growing. It's out of control. Uh, hold on. Oh crap! I misclicked. We got another one. Mario just did a super chat. Said Fantas two thousand eight. I'm going to join you next month. Thank you. For, uh, Mario for the Super Chat now, and looking forward to you becoming a member next month. Thank you, Mario. You're the latest Super Chatter. Okay, let's continue to see what stuff is included under Game Pass and stuff that I'd be interested in. Uh, all the banjo, like every banjo game available, all this Bard's Tale games that I've heard about. Of course, Batman Arkham Asylum Trilogy, that's awesome. But Oh, that new Battletoads, what was it, last year or the year before? Nah, I'm not really interested in that. Black Desert? No idea what that... Oh, Blair Witch. I gotta play that one again. <laughs> Bridge Constructor Portal? I have no idea what that is. It must not be a real Portal game or I would have heard of it. It sounds like it's a spin-off for an existing game called Bridge Constructor. Call to see I'm downloading already. Carrion? Nah, I already played Celeste. Let's see here. Oh, boy! Oh, look! There's a game on here that I'm very interested in, that people have been asking for for years. Finally, I'll be able to get it under Game Pass and fulfill the desires of those who've been asking for so long. Ladies and gentlemen, Cricket 19. I'll finally be able to play Cricket 19. It's about goddamn time we can finally do it. All right, good shit. <laughs> Crackdown 3's on here, but I heard that the game sucks, so I, didn't never, I never played it. Oh, really? The Dark Picture stuff's going to be on here? Now, wait a minute. Does that mean that the Dark Pictures, uh, the new one, will be on here, do you think? I'm not sure because you know what? If you take a look, the, the one from last year is not on here. Only Man of Medan is on here. Um, not Little Hope, so maybe not. I guess not then. It probably, Little Hope would be on here if they were all included. What's this? The Dark Crystal? Oh, that's right. Remember when Netflix had a Dark Crystal show like a year or two ago and then they added a video game for it or something? Yeah. Darkest Dungeons on here. Darksiders Genesis. I never played Darksiders Genesis. Isn't that the shooter? Never played Day of the Tentacle. That's a classic from the 90s, isn't it? They actually have Day Z on here. Let's see here. This was the one someone had mentioned Desperados 3. All right, I'll get... I had to play it later. I'm not going to play it yet, but let me check it out. It came out last year, huh? TSQ Nordic. Destroy All Humans we played. Was that last year? Yeah, that was last summer, right? Yeah. Uh, play cool to me a dollar thirty. He says, "What I meant to say is, some people will buy one game and play it for many months solely that game, maybe because they love it, or they don't have much time to play games. So it's cheaper to buy said game than a Game Pass sub. Otherwise, it's a great deal." Oh, I see what you're saying. If someone's just going to focus in on one game for many months, maybe just play it so you have it unlimited forever. Rather than doing $15 a month to keep the Game Pass up going. Okay. And fair enough, especially if it's not a full-priced retail game. <clears throat> right, like if you're going to just play fucking Don't Starve. You're paying $15 a month, it doesn't make sense. Oh, Disneyland Adventures. Now, hold on a second. I've been waiting. I have been waiting. What is this? 
Oh, it's just a tour of the park? It's not even a game. Look at this. It's a tour of the park. With a hundred challenging quests. Ha ha ha! And the thing is, this probably completely outdated. 2017, because of COVID and everything, they've completely redone the park. So it probably isn't even, like, accurate anymore. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, um... Doom, oh, classic Doom. And then, of course, the new Doom. Doom 64, Doom 3 is on here. That's cool. Doom 2, all the Dooms. Double Dragon Neon. Oh, dude. This game is the favorite game of a certain reporter from IGN. I can't remember his name right now, but he really loved that game, I remember. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Dragon Quest Eleven's on here. That's cool. Dragon Quest Eleven is one of the best games I've played in the last, like, ten years. Of course, we already talked about Skyrim. Morrowind is on here, too. Oh, boy. Well, I already have it. Uh, oh, Evil Within 1 and 2. That's cool. Oh, all the Fables, if I ever want to go back and play Fable 2. Because some people actually asked me for that. They said, will you go back and do a replay of Fable 2? I would consider it. It's on here. What? The original Final Fantasy 7 is on here? It is? I had no idea. I could play Final Fantasy 7 on my Xbox Series X? That's cool. I'm sure it probably runs like duty. Cause it's a PS1 game, right? But damn, that's cool. And of course, the remakes of Final Fantasy VIII is on here too. But Final Fantasy VII on there, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty fucking good that I'd be able to play that on here. So that's excellent. Um, Jad F just tipped me a dollar thirty. Says Carrion is a cool horror platformer. Check out World War Z. Also, Wreckfest is an incredibly fun Carmageddon game. Deep Rock Galactic is the best four-player co-op PvE game that there is. Wow. Wow. That's high praise. I'm probably not checking out any of those, but well, maybe I would check out the Carmageddon one. I, I played Carmageddon on PC back in the day. <clears throat> Yoshino Lover says I should play Doom 3 someday. I actually did. I did play it when it was on Xbox 360. I did a full playthrough of it, but yeah, to play it on a modern console might look really good. Oh, yeah! Wait a minute. Oh, we got... Dude, you know what? Clear the schedule. I'm, all right, I'm canceling all current playthroughs. No more Fallout New Vegas. No more Mass Effect 3. It's all done. Five Nights at Freddy's Marathon. Five Nights at Freddy's 1 through 4. Non-stop for the next week. Five Nights at Freddy's week. Right now, starting today. Everything PlayStation 890 just did a super sticker... Of a lemon person... I don't even know what they're doing. This is disturbing. But thank you for the super sticker. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Thank you. Everything PlayStation 890. For the super sticker. Okay. And by the way, guys, don't worry. We are playing games today. I'm just... I'm going through here for now. And then we're going to boot up some of these suckers. Oh, definitely Forza Horizon 5. Pre-installed November 8th. I can't... November 8th? I thought it was later than that. Oh, sweet. I want to play it so badly. Um, let's see here. Forza 7? I mean, I might be interested in Forza 7. It's already out? Never mind. I thought it was a new game. Never mind. I don't want to play old... I don't want to play those old games. We only play the new ones around here. Come on, man. People are still voting on the vest. I will put on a vest soon. Don't worry. Please keep voting. Every Gears game ever. Gears 1, 2, 3, 4. Judgment, which is a piece of donkey shit. Tactics. And what is this? Gears of War Ultimate Edition? I don't know the difference between regular Gears and Gears Ultimate Edition. Oh! Goat Simulator, my favorite game. You guys remember when I did that special... Uh, that special stream one year of Goat Simulator? It was one of the most rewarding things I think I've ever done. Um, The Crunchiest Onion has done a super chat. It says, Final Fantasy XII, great RPG, terrible Final Fantasy. That's not here, is it? Oh shit, it is! I didn't know it was there. That's included too. Oh, nice. I would I would play that one. Hell yeah. I didn't even notice. I actually skipped over it and didn't even see it. I would play Final Fantasy XII. I'm not going to do it now, but I would play it. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. The fuck is this? I have no idea. Gears 5 Operation 7. Um... Guacamelee 2 had a sequel, huh? Grim Fandango, remember when I played that years ago? I'm not going to play that again, but it's kind of cool. Obviously, 
if I were to play GTA, I'd probably get GTA 5 on here. Of course, hopefully the new version will be on Game Pass. Yes, I want Hades. Let's go ahead and get that pre-installed. I want Hades next month for sure. <clears throat> what is this? Guardians. Oh, God. Halo 5 Guardians. That game was fucking terrible. Um, Hellblade. I wish that, I wish Hellblade 2 was on here, but I guess it's not far, far along in development to have it on here. Oh, and Justice 2 is on here. That's cool. Don't know if I would want to play it again. Jurassic World Evolution 1. Of course, I want to play the new one, too. Of course, Killer Instinct. I already own it. But, uh... <clears throat> I, I, don't know, I don't know if I would try to play it now. Mm, too outdated. Uh, the Long Dark. I don't know what that is. Mass Effect 1. Of course, I own it. Medium, we're, we're downloading already. Ah! Flight Simulator. Hell yeah! Get that shit on there. For Honor, nah. I liked... Uh, For Honor was okay at launch, but I don't want to play that anymore. I have no interest in going back and playing that. Minecraft, of course. Let's see here. Oh, Moonlighter. I've been waiting for that one. Norita Boy? What the fuck? Norita Boy. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. <clears throat> Near Automata! Become As Gods Edition! <clears throat> well, I already played the shit out of that game, so I won't be playing that again. Hello Neighbor, someone said? Oh, Hello Neighbor was on here? Oh, I missed that too. Yeah, I'm interested in that. I'm not going to download that. I've never played it. A lot of people have played it and said it's an interesting game. I I'm actually interested in that one now that it's under here. <clears throat> okay. Um... Night in the Woods, remember that? I liked that playthrough. A lot of people hated on it. Octopath Traveler. Maybe one day I'll finally play it. Maybe I won't. The Outer Worlds. I wonder if the Outer Worlds expansion is included. Right? We know Outer Worlds base game is. What about the expansions? <clears throat> hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't clarify there. Oh! Pandemic the board game. What a great time for this game. What a, what a timely release. Pandemic the board game. Very nice. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, Pillars of Eternity, no thanks. Oh, all riders finished. So we got, we're going to have a good variety of games to check out today. I'm probably interested in the Power Rangers. Oh, I put it on play later. All right. All right I'm probably interested in that later. Psychonauts 2, yes. Okay. Let's see here. The old Resident Evil's on here. Oh, Rise Son of Rome. I gotta get my hands on that one. I heard so many good things about it. Secret Neighbor? There's a sequel. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that uh, they had a sequel. Secret Neighbor. Interesting. Sniper Elite's on there. Uh, so I don't know what the hell Stellaris is. Steep. Stranger Things 3, I played that one. Oh, Street Rage 4 is on there. Remember I skipped it? I didn't play it. Well, now it's on here. You know what? I'll have to play it later. I'm not going to play it now, but I don't have to pay for it. Why the fuck wouldn't I eventually check it out? Right? Okay. Oh, I got Tales of Vesperia on here. No way. Dude, okay. I've talked about this over the years. Tales of Vesperia, I, this was the game, the RPG that I played during the year when I was getting back into console games, but before I became a YouTuber. That was one of the RPGs I played. I fucking loved this game. I played the shit out of it. I, I got every trophy in it. Or actually, take that back. I got every achievement because I played it on Xbox 360. I really liked that game. Really, really like that game. So maybe I'll consider actually playing that again one day. <clears throat> it's on here. Uh, Tropico. Nah. Undertale. Never heard of that one. Maybe one day I'll check it out. <laughs> uh, oh, Walking Dead games are on here. All the Telltale Walking Dead games they tossed on here. Did I put this down for play later? I did. Okay, Vermintide. They have a ton of Wasteland games on here. 
Oh, what means be the Finch is a good game. <clears throat> oh, they have all the Wolfensteins. That's cool. You ever want to go? There's four of them. Yeah, there's New Order, Old Blood, New Colossus, and Young Blood. Right. And they're all fucking good, except Young Blood's not good. The other ones are good. <laughs> um, and all the Yakuza's, of course. All the Yakuza games are on here. Yeah, this is a great selection. This isn't the EA games, though, right? I don't think I saw the EA games out here. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I saw them on there. Maybe I'm blind. Because I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, wouldn't they have all the EA Sports and shit on here? <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are on here. Because it had Mass Effect, right? Wreckfest is fantastic fun. Fine, I'll play it later. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You need to go to the EA thing on the list? There's an EA thing on the list? What? What? Hey! Where do you see... Oh, where do you see an EA thing on the list? EA is a different tab. Full library. Oh, EA Play. Oh my god! 84 more games? Oh, boy. All right. All right. <clears throat> Tox Nox, to me, $1. thirty says, you might want to go back to Game Pass app to the game's A to Z category. Your library isn't showing you the EA Play games. Oh, we're doing that right now. We're literally doing that right now. So there you go. Cool. The Tour of Game Pass. Alice, remember this? Remember Alice Matters Returns? This is a good... That was a good game, man. Anthem? Oh, man. I've heard so many great things about this game. <laughs> I played Army of Two. Oh, they have all the Battlefields. Battlefield 1943, Battlefield 3, 4, Bad Company 1 and 2. Oh, shit. I'm sure no one plays those anymore. But still, that's kind of cool. Black. Dude, I remember when this game came out. When this game came out, it, for some odd reason, it was insanely popular. And I, I worked at Best Buy at the time. So we had like a jillion copies of it. And they were selling like hotcakes. Like we had a whole display of this shit. And people were buying the fuck out of this game. I don't know anything about it. But apparently it was like very popular at the time. Black. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Did I play that? I think I did. Here's all the Crisis games. Ah. Dead Space 1 through 3. And then, and then the... Uh, this is the puzzle game, isn't it? Ignition. Dead Space 1 through 3 is cool. I don't know if they're, they're going to run any better. Than they would have on Xbox 360, but it's cool that they got him. Dante's Inferno. That's funny that they've got Dante's Inferno, the, the God of War ripoff. That was so risque that I could not do it on YouTube years ago. I think it was 2009. I wanted to do a playthrough of it, and YouTube would not allow it. They denied me being able to do it, if you can believe it. All the Dragon Ages. All the UFCs. Feeding Frenzy? What the hell is that? A bunch of fish. Okay, we got we just got this knockout. We're going to try that today. Um, Mass Effect game. Oh, God, Andromeda's on here. Medal of Honor Airborne. Remember when Medal of Honor existed? I remember that. What happened to that? Various Need for Speeds. <clears throat> yeah, a ton of them. Rivals, regular Need for Speed, Need for Speed Heat, Hot Pursuit, and Payback. Oh, my God. NHL 94. Oh, yeah. Hegel. All the Plants vs. Zombies. Rocket Arena. See, of Solitude, I, I already added. SSX from SD60 Days. Nuno Gloop did another uh, super chat, and he says, Remember when EA was releasing great games? No. Actually, yes, I do, of course. And EA used to be one of these game, these game companies that basically, you know, hit after hit. Banger after banger. And then... Oh, man, the colon cleanse. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so there's a decent amount of games. A Way Out is actually on here. Yeah, Arrival 1 and 2, that's cool. And UFC 4. There's a decent amount of games on here. Um, nothing that I'm going to add immediately. But it's good to know that some of these are on there if I ever wanted to go back and replay them. But I'm getting Battlefield 4. Okay, let's see how my games are doing as they're being queued up here. Oh, uh, here it is. Manage the queue. So currently, Outriders is downloading. 
We've got... Okay, we got Grounded, and we got Knockout City. I'm gonna try Forza. Outriders is almost done. Then I guess we're gonna do Star Wars Squadrons, the medium. I'm gonna let it keep going. Oh, these, of course, are games upcoming. They're not gonna download yet. And then this one late. Okay. Okay. Um. Cool. That's, that is our investigation, all right, of what is available under Xbox Game Pass. Now what I'm actually going to do for the very first time, I'm I'm actually going to play some of these if I can figure out what's actually available to play. Like, how do I fucking see what's available instead of what's queued? What the hell? I can't just see the games that are available? What the frick? How do I do this? My games and apps. How do I just sort ones that I can play now? You can't. <laughs> you can't. Oh, good. All right, we'll probably go in order. Like, for, I downloaded Forza Horizon 4 last night, so I'll probably boot that one up first. And then maybe we'll try out Grounded, see what that is, uh, Knockout City, and then keep going because other games are going to be downloading as I play those, right? Okay. Don't worry, people are freaking out, saying, you missed this one, you missed this one. Relax, everyone relax. This is just the first, you know, we're not going to be able to do everything today anyway, regardless. There's no way we could check out every single game today. Just everyone kind of chill. By the way, Red Vest has won the poll. Red Vest won the poll. I'll get the Red Vest. For some reason, my headphones are going crazy here. Oh, because this was loose, that's why. All right, hold on. Let me get the Red Vest, okay? Let me get that on. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> okay. Fuzz. Fuzz went flying. Huh. All right. Oh, that. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. It all, I almost knocked it right to the floor. Oh, come on. The first day owning the console, I can't be breaking the accessories and shit, dude. That was <laughs> That was close. Damn, that was close. Okay. <laughs> what a catch. Phew. I hope Battlefield downloads quickly. Actually, where is Battlefield? What the fuck? I told it to download. Where is it? Why is Battlefield 4 not here? I definitely told it to download. What the fuck? Hold on a second here. No, I'm, I'm angry. What's going on? I said... Where was it under? Full library. It's an EA game, isn't it? Battlefield 4 It says it's cute Oh there it is <sighs> It's there It's right in front of me Okay So That is Our Tour of Game Pass I'm downloading several games I'm going to try some right now. We're going to try out some of these games that have been Xbox Series X enhanced. We're going to try some of these games that are downloading. We're going to have a fun stream. We're just kind of messing around with various games today. Fair enough? All right, good stuff. 